The Shroud of Turin, a linen cloth bearing the faint image of a man. Many believe it to be the burial cloth of Jesus of Nazareth. For centuries this relic has captivated the world. It has inspired awe, debate, and countless studies. Is it a genuine artifact from the dawn of Christianity? Or is it a masterful forgery, a testament to human ingenuity? The Shroud's existence is first documented in 14th century France. It quickly became an object of veneration. Pilgrims traveled great distances to catch a glimpse of the sacred cloth. The image on the shroud, though faint, is eerily detailed. It depicts a man who has suffered wounds consistent with crucifixion. This only deepened the belief that it was the true burial cloth of Jesus. The Catholic Church has never definitively declared the shroud to be authentic. However, it has acknowledged its significance as a powerful tool for faith. The Shroud continues to be a source of fascination and controversy. Scientists, historians, and theologians continue to grapple with its mysteries. Cicero Mores, a Brazilian graphics expert, has joined the quest to unravel the Shroud's enigma. Mores specializes in forensic facial reconstruction. He uses digital technology to recreate faces from skeletal remains. His expertise has been instrumental in solving historical and criminal mysteries. Mores decided to apply his skills to the Shroud of Turin. He wanted to determine if the image on the cloth could have been created by a real human body. To do this, he embarked on a groundbreaking project. He would use virtual simulation to recreate the process of how the image might have been formed. Mores's work represents a new wave of Shroud research. It moves beyond traditional methods like visual analysis and chemical dating. By using cutting-edge technology, he aims to provide a more objective assessment of the Shroud's authenticity. Moraes's process began by creating a detailed three-dimensional model of the man on the Shroud. He used high-resolution photographs and measurements to ensure accuracy. This digital model allowed him to manipulate the image in ways never before possible. Next, Moraes virtually draped virtual linens over the three-dimensional model. He experimented with different fabrics and positions. He wanted to see if he could replicate the unique characteristics of the shroud image. This included the way the image appears on both the front and back of the cloth. Through this virtual simulation, Morais could test various hypotheses about the shroud's creation. He could explore different scenarios. Could the image have been formed by direct contact with a body, or was a more complex process involved? Morais's virtual simulation yielded surprising results. He found that the proportions and distortions of the shroud image were not consistent with a three-dimensional human body. The image on the cloth, he concluded, could not have been produced by simply wrapping a cloth around a real person. Morais's findings pointed to an alternative explanation. The image on the shroud might be a bas-relief. A bas-relief is a type of sculpture where the image is raised from a flat surface. Think of the carvings on ancient coins or monuments. If the shroud image is a bas-relief, it means it was created through an artistic process. Someone with considerable skill could have sculpted or painted the image onto the cloth. This finding challenged the long-held belief that the shroud was a direct imprint of Jesus' body. Section 5. A History of Skepticism, Doubts Cast Upon the Relic Moraes's study is not the first to raise doubts about the shroud's authenticity, the Shroud has been the subject of intense scrutiny for centuries. Skeptics have long pointed to inconsistencies and red flags. One early criticism focused on the lack of historical documentation. There is no mention of a cloth bearing Jesus' image in the Gospels or other early Christian writings. The Shroud seemingly appears in history relatively late, which has always fueled suspicion. Others have questioned the image itself. The anatomical details, some argue, are not entirely accurate. The bloodstains, too, have been deemed unrealistic by some experts. These discrepancies have led many to believe the shroud is a clever fake, perhaps created as a tool for religious devotion. Section 6. Radiocarbon Dating, a Controversial Verdict In 1988, a highly anticipated scientific test was conducted on the shroud radiocarbon dating. This method, used to determine the age of organic materials, seemed to offer a definitive answer to the authenticity debate. The results sent shockwaves through the world. The radiocarbon dating indicated that the shroud originated between 1260 and 1390 AD. This placed its creation squarely in the Middle Ages, centuries after the death of Jesus. It appeared that science had debunked the shroud. 
However, the controversy didn't end there. Some argued that the samples used for radiocarbon dating were contaminated. They claimed the results were not reliable. To this day, the debate over the accuracy and significance of the radiocarbon dating continues. Section 7. The Shroud's Artistic Merit, a Testament to Human Creativity Even if the Shroud is not a genuine relic of Jesus, it remains an object of immense artistic and cultural value. The image on the cloth, regardless of its origins, is undeniably striking. It continues to captivate viewers with its haunting beauty and emotional power. The techniques used to create the shroud image, whether through painting, dyeing, or other methods, must have been incredibly sophisticated for their time. The level of detail and realism achieved is remarkable. The shroud stands as a testament to the artistic skill and ingenuity of its creators. The shroud's impact on art history is undeniable. It has inspired countless artists over the centuries. Painters, sculptors, and writers have all drawn inspiration from its imagery and symbolism. The Shroud's influence can be seen in religious art as well as secular works. Section 8. A Symbol of Faith. The Shroud's Enduring Power. For many believers, the question of the Shroud's authenticity is secondary to its religious significance. The Shroud serves as a tangible link to Jesus a physical reminder of his suffering and sacrifice. Gazing upon the image, whether it is an actual imprint or a skillful representation, can evoke powerful emotions. It can deepen faith, inspire contemplation, and offer comfort. For millions around the world, the shroud is a sacred object. The shroud's power lies not in its scientific validity, but in its ability to connect with the human spirit. It speaks to our deepest beliefs, our search for meaning, and our fascination with the mysteries of life and death. Section 9. The Quest for Authenticity, a Never-Ending Debate The debate over the Shroud's authenticity is likely to continue for years to come. New studies like Cicero Moray's will continue to shed light on the Shroud's mysteries. However, it is unlikely that a definitive answer will ever be found. The Shroud is shrouded in ambiguity. It is a puzzle with missing pieces. Science can provide valuable insights, but it may never be able to fully explain or authenticate the Shroud. The lack of definitive answers does not diminish the Shroud's significance. It simply adds to its mystique. The Shroud will forever be an object of fascination, prompting us to grapple with questions of faith, science, and the nature of belief itself. Section 10. Separating Fact from Fiction. The Importance of Scientific Inquiry. The ongoing research into the Shroud of Turin highlights the importance of scientific inquiry. By applying rigorous methods and critical thinking, we can separate fact from fiction, evidence from assumption. Science does not seek to diminish faith or disprove religious beliefs. Instead, it encourages us to approach mysteries like the Shroud with a healthy dose of skepticism. It reminds us that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Through scientific investigation, we gain a deeper understanding of the world around us. We learn to appreciate both the power and the limitations of human knowledge. Section 11. The Turin Shroud, a legacy of mystery and awe. The Shroud of Turin will forever hold a unique place in human history. It is a relic shrouded in mystery, a testament to the enduring power of faith and a catalyst for scientific inquiry. Whether a genuine artifact or a masterful creation, the Shroud continues to captivate our imaginations. It reminds us of the enduring human fascination with the unknown, the unknowable, and the mysteries that lie beyond our grasp. The Shroud's legacy is not one of definitive answers, but of enduring questions. It is a legacy of mystery and awe, a reminder that some enigmas may never be fully solved.